Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Gainesville, Georgia with, well, Georgia Transparency and one of his buddies as they attempt to gain entry into the local school board and will find themselves out in the cold. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Three plus Brutton for assistance. Hmm. You got to get in too. Yeah, I have a bag to get in. Oh, yeah, how you doing today? How can I help you? Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah, how you doing today? Is it talking back? It's a delay. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, can we... Uh, it's a delay. Wonder what... Uh, yes, sir. I can hear you. How can I help you? Wonder what public areas, public access y'all have in wonder the what, uh, Hall County school system. Wonder what public areas, public access y'all have in Hall County well, gee, Rusty boy, clearly if uh, this area is locked up like this, then uh, it is clearly a secure area. But, of course, I mean, you frauditors don't tend to think about it like that now, do you? Which leaves me questioning uh, something, Rusty boy. Did you even bother calling ahead to see if you could file a uh, public records request in this facility, or did you just walk right over here and think you could do it at this particular facility? I'm willing to bet that you didn't uh, make the good effort to even call ahead. I mean, good freaking grief, dude. I mean, you show yourself calling a lot of other places, but you don't bother calling here. I mean, come on now. Did it hang up? She's coming. She's... How's it going? Hey, how are you? Oh, hey, how's it going? I was saying we can get, uh, just, I guess, access to the public areas of the school system. No, we don't allow public access to the uh, public building. Oh, public income here for services? or No, it depends. You have to have business here. Oh, okay, I got business. Yeah. We, we have business here. Oh, What's yes. Business? Sir. Um, just gathering content for a store. Doing what? Gathering content for a store. Um, if you come back after the first year, we have a public information officer. They can talk to you, but uh, there's very few people right here, so... Oh, we're not looking for any questions to be answered. We just want to take a look around public access and just see where our tax dollars are going. We don't have public access. So there's oh, a lobby in there? There's a lobby, but it's not in public. You have to have... Okay. Where do y'all have the school board meetings at? In the back of the building here. So there is a public area of the building. Yeah, but they only have it for the, uh, for the board meetings. Oh, come on now, you nitwits. Just because... The school board room may be public access at certain points, uh, such as during a school board meeting, which they will learn about later on. Doesn't mean that the building is public access 24-7. Oh, no, it doesn't exactly work that way because, well, these guys actually have business to conduct and therefore they don't need to be chaperoning a couple of jackasses who probably want to rummage through the computers and uh, get information such as well where children may be living at and everything like that i mean that building does have that kind of information in it and it's so i can understand why they don't want you people in there uh, okay. Yeah. Well, we'll just walk around and take some film then out here. Uh, you can take it out here, but you can't come in the building without a public need because we're I'm security. So, for security? Yeah, for security purposes, yeah. What security, though? It's just we don't allow public access unless you have a need for it. Well, I do have we a need. Yeah, we, we have a need no. for it. Yeah, oh, just sorry. a public we're area. Public What's your name, sir? I don't have a name. Thank you. <laughs> really? Allow me to enlighten you idiots on why the need for this security over here. Because this is, after all, a school board where uh, files and other information are kept on the local student populace. Valuable information like names, 
uh, addresses and everything like that. And if some idiot like yourself managed to break in there and rummage through the computer files, well, they would have a gold mine of information if they are that kind of person that would take advantage of a child like that. I mean, you wouldn't want that to happen now, would you, Rusty Boy? Now, this video is rather long because there's a lot of dead air in it. So let's just skip on past the dead air and get to the point where the uh, cops show up. Many, many minutes later. Can you train the staff in there about the Georgia Open Records Act? The appropriate staff in our school district is trained. Mm -hmm. Boy, oh boy, am I glad you left this part in here. The appropriate staff is trained in that. So, you are not uh, asking the right people at this point. I mean, you're not going to train everybody on that task. You're going to train the people who are more likely to do it because of their job position. So you just can't walk up to a uh, teacher within the district and ask them to do a public records request. They'd probably look at you funny and be like, what are you talking about? Which is the situation that happened right here, you dumbass. You asked the wrong people. Good afternoon, gentlemen. How you guys doing? Good, how are you? Good, I'm Officer Friday on with the Gainesville Police Department. All right. Is there something I can help you guys with today? Yeah, your uh, badge number? Yes, yeah, 66. Were you called out here for a call for service? Yes, sir. I was. What was the call for service? Just two suspicious people. Just What's suspicious? The, just recording outside the business. That's all. I don't. I don't think it's suspicious. You enforce laws? Yes, sir. Can you go in there and enforce the Georgia Open Records Act on them? Okay, let me go speak with them and see what's going on. All okay. Right, cool beans. So I was trying to follow open records requests. Gotcha. Yeah. Y'all wouldn't, uh, I know the Gainesville Police Department, y'all don't violate the rights of the people. No, sir. I, I didn't think so. Cool beans. Now, to make a long video short, essentially what happens in there is really nothing at all. The, uh, officer, uh, tries to alleviate their fears and everything like that, but the final decision is still left up to the assistant superintendent who is not there, but they contact him via the phone. And uh, he says he's going to be showing up in the next few minutes. So let's uh, just jump to the point where the assistant superintendent uh, does arrive and, well, still doesn't allow him into the building. Dr. Turpin? Aaron Turpin. Officer Friday. Good to see you. Hey, I'm Aaron. Hey, Russ. How are you, sir? Hey, Russ. I'm Aaron. Hey. Nice to meet you. Hey. Sir? Ernest Long, good to meet you. Hey, Ernest. What's going on, gentlemen? Uh, we just wanted access to the publicly accessible areas of the building. And uh, I need a name, and I would like to put in an open records request. And sure. I tried calling, but they keep hanging up, and they nobody seems to know how to do an open records right. request. I can like call that. First I'm sorry. Of all, my name is Aaron Turpin. I'm assistant okay. superintendent. Um, if you wanted to file an open records request, you can send it to me. Here's one of my business cards right here. Um, cool. we'll, get, we'll get back to you as the uh, as the law allows, as far as the amount of time. If you'll please send us uh, exactly what you're looking for, an open record request, I'm happy to give that to you. Um, the law allows us to no. file it in, in person, though. Uh, if you'll send it to me, I'll be happy. Yeah, can, can I can I do it right now, though? Right now, be happy to take it. The law allows you to uh, file it, but we have 72 hours to reply sure. to it. Sure, but we don't have to send it like through email. We can no, you can write person. down. Yeah, so you can, can we do it in the file, file you, in person? You can write it down right now. This is a this is a uh, access only building. Yeah, we have so. we have business here. Yeah, he said you can only. Yeah, he said you can only come in if you have business. That, that's not what we were told, and it doesn't say by appointment only. Okay, you, uh, it's a building that is secure. It's right here. The access cards. How, how sure. you get in? If you have an appointment, be happy to come. I could talk to you. Did you hear that, GT? You lame brain, dumbass. Uh, he said access cards. So, do you actually think that they would let you in there without an access card? This is pretty simple stuff, you simpleton. But seeing as how you are a simpleton, I'm going to lay it down for you. Now, in my school district, you need a card to get into every school building. And that is for a very good reason. Security. Especially in this day and age where you, well, you have a lot of people who want to do pew-pews on the uh, school grounds, so they're just being cautious because they don't know if you're one of those kinds of guys, dude. So have a little bit of common sense, will you? In addition to that, you gotta think about 
the liability issues too as far as what happens if you gain access to the files on those computers and uh well it will put children at risk and now we would want that to happen now would we yeah you guys come back with an appointment anytime you guys want so you're just going to deny so, the public access to, the, to publicly accessible areas the access to the building is, is by appointment um it's open every uh tuesday and every second and fourth monday for board meetings if you want to make an appointment be happy to come in I mean, so, so you have to make an appointment to, to even attend a board meeting no not what it says when's the next board meeting second and uh, fourth monday of every month how do you get on five, the agenda to address the school board there's open there's public comments at the business meeting the fourth weekend of uh, fourth monday pardon me of every month how do you get on that agenda you to sign do up that? when you come in to the end of the meeting oh inside you sign up the day of mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Beginning, you beginning beginning the meeting. Well, okay. as I just said, sir, it's um, it's open the second and fourth Monday for the board meeting, sir. Can I go ahead and put in my open records request Actually, so I can get up out of here? You got a piece of paper? Um, I'm just want to give it to you orally. I right, need it written down, sir. Uh, according to the Georgia Open Records You'll Act, in the 50 code section, you can provide it orally. You'll be happy to write, write it down. I have to take it right now. I'll go get a okay. piece of paper if you'd like one. Okay, yes, like sir. One? If you can provide yeah. that, yes, sir. Be right back. Give me his name. I'll get my open records request in, and we'll be gone. Now, I'm just going to end it right here, because he went through all that trouble when he could have just called ahead and found out where they do the uh, requests at. But you know what? I mean, it wouldn't be as so dramatic for his videos, because that's all he's looking to do is stir some shit up and uh, cause drama. But I want to go out on a serious note right here, Rusty Boy. I am thinking of the children's safety because, well, as part of the Florida education system, well, any education system in the United States would have this uh, policy or uh, ethics code right here that you've got to put the children first. And uh, if you just allow any idiot to walk in there and uh, potentially act, gain access to the computer system in there, well, that can lead to a whole lot of trouble later on down the line. So do you really want to find out how bad that trouble can be? Should you be caught doing that? Uh, I su suspect not. So you might want to be careful with that. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you playing cereal? Who's that?